When a component is larger than the measuring volume of the device, several device positions may be required to complete the inspection. CAM2 Measure 10 has a Move Device Wizard to simplify and guide the users through the process. The wizard offers two methods, automatic or manual. This video will instruct on the automatic method. A move device can be executed with or without a coordinate system or alignment. In this example, we have aligned to the CAD model just to help visualize the move device. First we have to measure a minimum of three points which are towards the limits of the measuring range from the first device position. The point should create as big a triangle as possible to ensure the best relocation result. Magnetic cones or holes which have a smaller diameter than the probe can be used to measure the reference points. In this case, we are using small machined holes to locate the probe and measure the reference points. If using attachments to create reference points, it is essential that the features used are firmly fixed or are a physical part of the component. From the Measure tab, select point from the ribbon. Now measure a single point in at least three of the holes, ensuring to compensate after each point. It is recommended that these points are renamed to make identification easier. Now from the Devices tab, select Move Device from the ribbon. The Move Device wizard will open. Select the device you wish to move from the pull down. Then select the method, in this case, automatic. Now select next to proceed. We can now move the device to the new position. Once the device is located, ensure that the reference points can be reached before continuing. Now remeasure each of the reference points. Once three of the points are measured, the result window displays a green circle next to them. The move device error incurred by the move is also displayed. Click Finish to accept and complete the move device. Click Previous to step back and repeat the measurements. The device has been relocated and the screen displays both device positions. The active device has a disk around the sphere. We can continue to measure within the original alignment or coordinate system. Should additional device moves be required, simply follow the same steps and create new reference points or use the existing. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.